Hey, what is happening guys? Rules for Rebels. My Trezor wallet finally arrived. This is a Bitcoin hardware wallet. I wish I would have got one of these a lot sooner. These things are really, really awesome. I've had it for less than 24 hours, but uh, pretty comfortable with how to use it and things like that. And I held off on getting one because I was kind of intimidated. I thought it might be a little bit over my head. I was worried about losing Bitcoins. If you're in the same position, believe me guys, I am not the most tech savvy person when it comes to like devices. A couple years ago, a girl I was dating got me a, an iPod Nano, could never figure out how to use it, wound up selling it on eBay. Um, a buddy of mine just recently gave me like a, I don't know, a jailbroken fire stick or whatever, couldn't figure out how to use it. So, I mean, if you know how to use Kodi on your phone, if you know how to use uh, an iPod, you know how to use this. It's really simple to use. Don't be intimidated. If I can figure this out, you can figure it out. I will link in the description box below to where I bought it. I bought mine actually directly from Trezor.io. It was, I believe, 99 euros with 26 euros for DHL shipping. Um, Satoshi Labs, the company who makes this, also sells it on Amazon. However, on Amazon, uh, I think it's like 189, 200 bucks. Um, if you buy it directly from the Trezor, obviously Amazon charges 15% in fees. If you buy it directly from Trezor, 99 euros, 26 euros for shipping at an exchange rate of, I think the euros at about a buck five now, I think it comes out to like $135. So it's cheaper to buy directly from them. I'll link below in the description box below to where you can get it. One thing I was concerned about is I really wanted to make sure I bought it from the company to make sure I didn't get one that somebody had like tampered with or already, you know, put some logging software into. Um, these things are, are pretty tamper-proof. They got this tamper-proof seal on the top and bottom of the package. It's also shrink-wrapped, and as you can see here, it's all chewed up. When you go to open it, it doesn't open up cleanly, so it would be pretty hard for somebody to like open one of these, tamper with it, and then resell it to you. The reason I bring this up is you can probably find some deals on eBay. You know, I imagine there's some people who bought a Trezor and then watched a YouTube video and decided, oh, maybe I'm going to get the Ledger Nano Essence. Dead and they decide to, to sell an unopened one that they purchased. So you might be able to find a deal, but I thought it was pretty reasonable. I mean, if you have a significant amount of Bitcoins, it's well worth investing in one of these. Um, so what comes in the package? We get the Trezor. We get, you know, a little thing to uh, just kind of, a little kind of keychain dongle thing to hold the Trezor. We get two of these. I'm not going to show you the other one as it has my seat on it, but this is where you write down your 24-word recovery seat. I also have my pin written down in my other one. Um, you get this cord to hook it up to your computer for five euros extra. You can also get one to hook up to your phone if, if you wanted to use your Trezor on like a, I don't know, like a bread wallet or a mycelium uh, like phone wallet. I really don't mess with Bitcoins on my phone, so not something I need. Do wish this was a little bit longer. I think it's, I don't know if you call that a mini USB or what, but uh, you probably have one of these laying around your house that's a little bit longer already. And they give you some cool uh, stickers. I'm not sure. I guess this is just for marketing or whatever. So that's what you get. A couple questions I wanted to answer that I was kind of confused about, concerned about, um, etc. So one thing a lot of people, I, I've seen a lot of people asking is what happens if I lose this, it falls in the toilet, it gets stolen, etc. As long as you have your recovery seed, you can buy a new Trezor wallet and recover your Bitcoin wallet uh, through your recovery seed. Um, if you don't want to buy a new Trezor, Trezor is compatible with, I believe, Electrum, Multibit, and a couple other wallets. So even without buying a new Trezor, your recovery seed should work on uh, you know, Electrum and some other wallets if you don't want to buy another one. Um, what happens, oh, a lot of, uh, 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 another thing a lot of people have been asking is like, how do I see my private keys? Well, that's one thing I would, you know, on Electrum you can export your keys and you can actually see your private keys, right? With this, there's no feature to do that. You know, for some of you guys who are super tech savvy, there may be a way to do it, but you really don't want to do it. That pretty much defeats the security of this. And I can't really explain this well, nor can I even wrap my head around it, but basically your private keys are derived from your recovery seed. So in some sense, your recovery seed and your private keys are the same thing. The point being, you don't need to see or know your private keys because they're essentially in your recovery seed is the way I've, I've heard it explained. Um, let's see, what other frequently asked questions? Oh, and you know what? 
I'm going to make another, this is just kind of a rambling Saturday morning video. I didn't really prepare for this video. I was just super excited to kind of show this thing off, so I wanted to make this video. But I will be doing some follow-up videos. I'll probably do like an FAQ of the treasure. So feel free to drop your questions in the comment section below, and I'll make a follow-up video uh, kind of addressing some of these points and things like that. Okay, so I guess right now I'm going to kind of like verbally walk you through the setup. I know some people do like a screencast and show you guys the entire process and show them writing down their seeds. There's other YouTube videos if you want to see that done. I'm not super tech savvy with this stuff, so I really don't feel like setting everything up, then figuring out how to wipe it to then go back and set it up again. So I'll just kind of verbally walk you through. If you guys want to see a screencast, there's plenty of videos where you can actually see a screencast. So what was a little bit confusing. No instructions or anything come in here. So what I wound up doing is going to Trezor.io. At the bottom of the home page, there's a thing that says, you know, new Trezor owners, click here. So you click here. And it was a little bit confusing, but they pretty much walk you through the whole, whole process. I believe first you're going to set up your PIN. Um, so what's kind of confusing about this, let me, uh, you know what, I'm going to pause the video so I can kind of show you guys an example. So this is kind of what it's going to look like when you're setting up your recovery seed. This, I'm sorry, this is going to be on your computer so that if anybody were like monitoring your computer, they can't see what numbers. This is actually going to show up on the screen of your Trezor. So you're basically going to use your Trezor as a key to punch in these. So if my pin were uh, 8524, it would be 85, sorry guys, everything's backwards. Two, four. If your pin were three, three, four, four, it would be three, three, four, four. So you're basically using this as a pin to set your uh, pin. Uh, once you set your pin, you're going to uh, do the process of setting up your recovery seed. You're not going to pick the words. Uh, what's going to happen is they're going to show you the first word on your treasure. You're going to write the first word as word one. You're going to click this button. Next word is word two, you're gonna write it down, click confirm, word three, you're gonna go through all 24 words. After you go through all 24 words, they're going to show you the words all over again to make sure that you confirm that they're correct. Um, one other thing I should have mentioned earlier, when you first hook up your Trezor, it's gonna install the firmware or software, whatever it is, and the reason for that is to make sure you have the most updated uh, software on your Trezor. Um, the whole setup process was pretty easy. They kind of walk you through the entire thing. Um, oh, it's, it's also going to prompt you to download a Chrome extension. Um, and then you're actually going to access your wallet through the Trezor.io website. You're just going to click Wallet at the top. And, you know, once your Trezor is plugged in, they're going to kind of communicate and you'll be able to see your wallet. Very easy to send and receive Bitcoin. Very simple interface. Uh, you do have the option of setting up multiple accounts. I have decided not to do that. A, I don't really have a, a need for it right now. B, I don't want to overcomplicate things. And C, I have heard of some people who've lost or damaged their treasures who have tried to recover their wallets through Electrum or a new treasure or whatever else. And some people who've created like six accounts or nine accounts, they say that when they go to use a recovery seed, it only recovers like account number three or it only recovers account three and account nine, but they're missing their other accounts. Everybody I've seen who only uses one account has no problems. I think it's pretty easy. I think maybe like an update or something like that or just using a different software wallet will recover all your wallets, but I just figure why overcomplicate things. One other thing I wanted to touch on, you have the option of creating a passphrase. Um, if you guys have an Electrum wallet or something else, you probably have a passphrase. I've chosen not to use a passphrase, and I'm going to tell you why. First off, this thing is pretty secure as it is, right? Um, if you were to lose this, as long as you have your recovery seed, you can recover your Bitcoins in your wallet. However, if you forget your passphrase, there, I don't want to say there's no way to recover it, but they're essentially lost. You may, might be able to pay some guy to, what, what's the word, like strong arm or, or something in your wallet and try to figure it, crack the, the passcode. Uh, but here's, I, I, you know, we talk about over security. Have you ever tried to hide something? You know, I'm going to try to hide my weed. I'm going to try to hide this money. And you hide it so good that you can't remember where you where you put it. That's kind of what having a passphrase is. I've actually seen some people on Reddit and some different Bitcoin forums and Steemit who are like, hey, I lost my treasure. 
I got my seed, uh, but I don't know my passphrase. And they can't get their Bitcoins because they don't know their passphrase. So um, I think the chances of you forgetting your passphrase are a lot more than somebody somehow stealing this and figuring out your PIN and using your treasure. I mean, I, I have dogs and guns. I'm not worried about somebody getting this thing. I am, however, worried about me forgetting my uh, my passphrase. Um, so I've chosen not to use a passphrase. Um, I think it kind of defeats the point of the seed because if you forget your passphrase, the seed is pretty much worthless at that point. So uh, I think we're going on about 10 minutes here. Um, I've kind of run out of stuff to say. I didn't really, like I said, I didn't really prepare for this video. I was just kind of super excited to have gotten this and wanted to show it off. Um, so whatever questions you guys have, ask them in the comments section below. Um, I'll try to do another follow-up video kind of answering these questions as well as answering some other questions that like I had uh, prior to buying one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it gave you a better idea uh, about these Trezor wallets. If you feel like you're, oh, I think it might be over my head, it's not, guys. If I can set this up, you can set it up. I, I don't even know how to work an iPod, and I figured out how to work this thing. Uh, really user-friendly user interface. I've already made some transfers from uh, Coinbase as well as an Electrum wallet over here. They showed up really quick, no problems at all. I also did one send uh, from out of my Trezor. Um, I'm actually, I really want to encourage everybody to get these. My, uh, my girlfriend's cousin hit me up yesterday, and he's like, hey, He's worried about this August uh, 1st potential fork or split. He's like, hey, can I send you my Bitcoins and uh, you just store them for me till after August 1st and then you can send them back to me in case it splits. And I told him, fine, but I mean, for 100 bucks or 130 bucks, I said, you might as well just go order your own. So I've already got a couple buddies ordering these. Um, I'm really happy with mine. Um, and like I said, they ship pretty quickly. So if you're worried about an August 1st fork or whatever, even though it looks like at this point it's not gonna happen, I guess this whole Bit91 thing has been signaled. Technically, even though it has a majority or whatever, I guess if this Jihan ABC thing wants to split off, they can still split off. It won't have very much power from my understanding. Um, but what the heck, you know, I mean, if Bitcoin splits into two coins, why not have both? Like, I'm gonna sell off the weaker coin, which will probably be that Bitcoin ABC if this even happens. Um, cash that out and hang on to my good Bitcoin yet. I don't know, maybe one of you guys can explain that whole thing better. But for, from what I've heard, even though a split's not going to happen, technically the other side could split off a meaningless coin. Um, but, you know, these things arrive quickly if you want to have it by August 1st. What's today's day? Today is Saturday the 22nd. You could easily have it by August 1st. And I guess there's another potential Bitcoin split that could be happening in November. Um, so if you want to get it in time for November, obviously there's plenty of time, but I think if you order it within the next couple of days, you could easily have it by August 1st. It took me all of about five minutes to set it up and I was a little bit stoned. So, I mean, that goes to show you how easy this thing is to use. Um, I don't know. I'm going to wrap up the video guys. Drop your questions below. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to buy one, I'll link to it below. Um, and I'll do a couple follow-up videos answering any questions that you guys have. Until next time, Rules for Rubble signing off guys.